Thank God I'm blessed. So bad man can't defeat me. Yeah. <laughs> Popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, it's Maria Idrissi and I'm here with Harper's Bazaar Arabia. Maria Idrissi is a London-born girl trying to change the narrative around Muslim women. Women, children, and to be honest, anyone that I feel is in a vulnerable place and doesn't have the ability to maybe help themselves and just needs that extra little bit of support. Representation is super important because especially for young people growing up, you're already trying to find yourself and find your place in society and it can make it really difficult if you don't have anyone doing anything that you want to do or, or anyone that you can relate to physically or religiously. So um, yeah, it's really important just to be able to show people that you have the power to do whatever it is you want to do. Colourful, um, modest, obviously. <laughs> I say sometimes a bit, sometimes a bit tomboyish. Chic, modest fashion, Dolce by Safia. Modest fashion for me is a type of style that's just a way of life, to be honest. Um, whether it's a religious way of life or whether it's just a personal choice. The way I work with fashion is obviously as a one as a model, but at the same time I do other things outside of fashion. And I think just having my style being presented there in whatever it is I'm doing is a representation in itself. So a lot of the time it does just, it speaks for itself, to be honest. Normally, it's eat. <laughs> Everything's halal, so great. <laughs> I learnt that Congo has the second largest rainforest in the world and after the Amazon. So if Congo's rainforest gets destroyed, we have a problem. So a little bit of an environmental fact for everyone to keep an eye on. <laughs> My mum is always my biggest inspiration, just because she's like a superwoman. Martin Luther King and Coretta Scott King. A lot of people don't realise that she was also an amazing speaker. So if you get a chance, check out her speeches. Yara Shahidi, yes. <laughs> uh, there's a book called How to Win Friends and Influence People. That is a really good book. So that definitely changed the way I started thinking and, and speaking to people as well. I'm gonna check my phone for you guys. Um, what do I listen to often? Okay, Lauren Hill, Zion. Carmex, a nail file. Can it be food? Can it be edible? Deodorant. <laughs> Mum jeans. Oh, my days. Do you know what? I don't say anything, to be honest. I just let them carry on with what they're doing. Will Smith. <laughs> He's just like everyone's uncle, you know? Just feel the love, the positivity. WhatsApp. Yes, tea without biscuits is like, what's the point? Unless it's a herbal tea, fine. But if you're doing an English tea, you have to have, obviously, biscuits. Um, how do I do it perfectly? You've got to let the tea bag brew enough. It can't, not too much milk, just a little something there to add some colour, you know. Um, I don't actually like a lot of sugar, especially with my biscuits, so like half half a teaspoon of brown sugar. Yeah, just make sure the colour's on point. When, you, when the colour's on point, then you can take the tea bag out and do all that stuff. And the biscuits have to be M&S Dutch shortcakes, the half chocolate, half plain. Oh my days, yes. Everything happens for a reason. Truly does. Well, I'm making a documentary and other film stuff, so I'm getting back into that. So just keep watching. New space about to open, so yes. Thank you guys for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to Harper's Bazaar Arabia on YouTube.